Hey everyone, today we're going to set up Final Burn Neo. Final Burn Neo is a powerful arcade emulator and is a great alternative to MAME for a specific set of arcade games. First, we will download FB Neo from their official GitHub. We'll go to Releases, we'll find the stable, version 1.0.0.2, go down, get fbneo.zip. Once it's downloaded, I have it on my desktop for simplicity. Place it wherever you like. We will extract it. Once extracted, we'll go ahead and launch it. It's going to let you know that you may have to change some settings to fit your hardware. Here, you also have to agree to their terms of service. It's going to scan for ROMs, but don't worry about that yet. It will not find anything as the ROMs folder is empty. Ignore this warning as we will not use the initial blitter presented. We have five options here. Before we proceed, I'm going to switch it over to experimental. The next step is that we will have to bring our ROMs into the program. You will need to do a web search for FB Neo 1.0.0.2 ROM set. This will be the most compatible set to work with the emulator. If you know what you're doing, you can make older versions work, but for people new to this, this is the best way to move forward with your set being compatible. You will need to look for the full non-merge set as this will be the most compatible. Once you have acquired your set, then we can go to the emulator and point to the path where your ROMs are. We'll go to the miscellaneous options, configure ROM paths. Here, you will get to choose where your ROMs are located. Now that it's done scanning, we can pick a game and test this. We'll go to game, load game, and here we have a list of all the ROMs. Now I know here it says showing 1515 out of 16,000. This is because I trimmed my arcade ROM set. On the right hand side, we see a tree menu with checkboxes. This will help filter titles in the main selection screen. I will go with Street Fighter Alpha 3 for this test. Now, one thing you saw that I did earlier, that I changed the blitter. And what is the blitter? This is the way the game is gonna be rendered. For this enhanced option, this option will not work. We have basic, soft effects, experimental, and direct X9 alternatives to work with here. Each of them comes with different blitter options. As you can see, the experimental is a direct X9 and it provides point filtering, cubic filtering, linear filtering, and also different qualities for those filters. We can also add scan lines to our game as well. Under basic, we have different options here. We have just no effects. We can add scan lines and scan lines at 50%. Not much to work with here. However, soft effects gives us other options as well. Here we have different upscale filters. We can even use Advanced MAME Scale 3X. This will apply this uh, XBR style filter to the game. We can also see the uh, 2X. And here we have other upscale filters in the same style. For experimental, we have a few different options as well. This will enable point filtering, linear and cubic. I like to enable cubic filtering here, but before I do any of this, I will also show you the alt. Here we have point, linear, and then we have some other upscale filters here as well. They look very similar to the uh, DirectX 7 soft effects. Go with whatever style suits you best. I'm going to go with experimental because I like my arcade games to look a particular way. I'm going to go with cubic filtering. We did lightly filtered and we'll enable scan lines. This gives close to a CRT style look to the game. As you can see, 
We don't have rough edges from all the pixels. It's slightly softened and the scan lines are there. Not too intense. You can also choose your scan line intensity. 191 seems to be the default. I like to bring it down to 180 to bring down the lines a little more. You could go even further if you like. However, 180 looks about right for me. One thing we need to do before we play is that we need to configure our controller. Under input, map game inputs. I have a PlayStation 4 controller plugged into my system. Any controller you plugged in will work. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. By the way, for setting these buttons up, you will need to double click. And then in this uh, box, you will press the button you want to correspond with the action. Now, once you have this here set up, if you play other Capcom fighting games that have similar layout, what we can do is that we can save this preset. So we'll go to player one. We'll go to joystick zero, as this is the joystick that we see presented here, joy zero. And for this menu, I'm not too sure exactly what to put, so I'm gonna put normal. We can save this preset, and it tells us that it's saved as cps.ini. We'll hit okay. And now we can add credits and play the game. We can maximize the game. We could also full screen the game as well. There are many other options as well. You can do under the stretch. You could do normal stretch, which brings a kind of a normal uh, aspect for like a widescreen arcade style. As you can see, the characters aren't fully stretched out. We'll pause the game here first with the pause button. Another thing you can do is full stretch, which when you bring this over here, you will have a fully stretched out game. Not sure if this is uh, something many players want to do. Another thing we can do, correct aspect ratio. We can have the game as 4-3 on our 69 monitor. We could toggle full screen mode. Another thing we can do here is uh, we can mess with audio options if you like, if you know what you're doing here. We can use the low pass filter, it's gonna make this, the game sound a little bassier. And so that's another thing that's available to you. Under miscellaneous, you have other options here as well. Typically, I leave these alone and here you get to choose your resolution for your vertical and horizontal full screen resolutions here. You can change these if you have a vertical monitor to play the shoot em up games and many other options here available. I feel like the more important options are the blitter options as they really change the way the game looks and makes the game look better. Let's select another game and now we have Street Fighter three third strike i'll maximize to the screen and like i mentioned before you play any of these games you will have to map your inputs i believe it saved my preset from the previous setup welcome to the world of the street fighter Now, Final Burn Neil also does provide a way to play online via Kielera. However, I believe that this is 
probably not the best way to do it anymore as we have things such as Bitecade that does use Final Burn and uses rollback netcode. So if you're interested in that, I will post the video in the box on how to set up Bitecade to use Final Burn Neo to play online games against other people. And like I mentioned, Bitecade, this is how we can play other games with people online. This program gets constantly updated. And as you can see, it's not just relegated to fighting games. You can play the puzzle games as well with friends. And there are other co-op games here that you could play as well. We could also search by genre, years released, and more importantly, systems. And so for today, this is how we set up Final Burn Neo. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you liked the video, please give it a like. For more tutorials and other gameplay footage, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.